Got me a bad, yeah, I need a lad, yeah, we bout to turn up How the shit in the city, yo, who fucking with it, yeah, we bout to burn up Wanna show a feature, we sell out the bitches, so please get your funds up We bout to one, yeah, that's what you call a come up It's the come up, baby It's your girl Bite Size back again with another episode of The Come Up. And today, I actually have an entrepreneur. We're not talking music. I love it. And it's girl power. Okay. So, now, <laughs> so if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Joaquina Warner, the owner of DWD Financial. And I also am the owner of Pose in the Moment, which is Photo Booths Rentals. Okay, I didn't know the name of that. I did. I have peeped that you've been doing that yes, too, though. Yes. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, I love the word financials because y'all know what that means. Money. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we about to get into it because, yeah, it's holiday season around the corner. Tax season right around the corner. Yes. I yes. know you're getting hit up already. 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 Uh, I need to catch up my previous year so I can file for next year coming up. So, yes. <laughs> What's the earliest they can file? So, it depends. Um, so, if you need to do previous years, like you behind in taxes, we need to do those now. Like, go ahead and get them done now. And then the earliest they can file is January 1. The IRS is not open yet, but we can go ahead and get you started. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, what is, are we, do we already have an anticipated max for this year? So, there is a new rules and changes, which it will vary depending on who you are and what you have going on. But um, for the most part, most everything is still the same, but it's just some little tweaks and things that's a little bit different. Now, I'm going to go ahead and backtrack a little bit because I'm guilty. I just okay. filed this year for the past three years. Oh, God. <laughs> she was talking so much. I felt so bad. But what is it like? Why do we got to do this every year? Like, what's the importance of it? So the importance of it is you always want to stay up to date on your taxes. So if you're trying to buy a house, guess what? You got to be up to date on your taxes. Um, if you're trying to buy commercial property, they want to see your previous tax returns. And if you haven't filed them... <laughs> Guess what? Now you're trying to hear up and do it and catch up, but now you are waiting on the IRS. Because once you do that, those previous years, those have to be mailed in, mm -hmm. or they can be electronic file, depending on how far back you are. But now you have to wait on the IRS to actually accept them and start working on them. So that property that you was looking at, you don't miss out on it. So you need to stay on top of it. And don't do that no more. <laughs> I'm not. Y'all, I still ain't got my taxes. I filed like in April. I had to do a whole identification thing. Like, they put me through some hoops. And they will. So that's another thing, too. When you do go behind in several years like that, they make you do more verification, which can be harder. Because a lot of times we move. We So when yeah. you move, you don't do the change of address to the post service. Now they're trying to send you information that can't reach out to you. So always make sure you stay up to date with your taxes. And if you do move, let USPS know that you move. <laughs> right. Now, when was um, DWD funded or created? Um, 2020. So, previously, I did work for another tax office that decided that she wanted to disperse and not longer do business. So, in the middle of the pandemic, I started my own business, DWD, which is me and my daughter's initials. Um, and so, that's where we've been at from since then, yeah. So, if she didn't disperse, do you think you still would have went out into your own? Yes, I would. Okay, that was always the goal. Yeah, it was always the goal because we got, you know, she showed me a lot of different things, but we always had different aspects of what we wanted to do with the business. And so she felt this kind of way, I felt this kind of way, and I was like, you know, eventually I was going to move on my own and do what You're I wanted to do. Yeah. person. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I already started <laughs> working with you before. Yes. And so I was like, oh, anybody that make it out of Verizon, I just have a little special place to buy. That was the trenches. Yes, so it was the trenches. <laughs> Now, are you doing just taxes or what all do is, does it encompass? So my office itself is mostly a tax office, but I am a licensed insurance agent for the state of South Carolina and I'm also a notary as well. So it's other things that I do other, um, that everybody else that work under me does not do. Gotcha. Yeah, get that life insurance. Yes, please do. We do not have enough insurance. And no get the life insurance. <laughs> like, I don't, it's not even that hard. So I don't it's understand not. why people, like, okay, so... For application, what's turnaround time processing for you for just on life insurance? So if you don't have a person that has an extensive medical issues, you're reported within 24 hours. 24 hours, y'all. Yeah. That's crazy. I think a lot of reason why um, a lot of people don't have life insurance because of the things they heard in the past. Like our grandparents and stuff had horror stories where... 
They had a thousand dollar pile that they've been paying on for 30 years. And so a lot of that kind of been passed down generation to generation. Oh, they're trying to take your money and it doesn't work. And I think that's why a lot of us don't do insurance. But I tell people things have changed. And just like anything that's in America, when they see fraud and stuff has happened, they put a lot of rules and regulations in place so it doesn't occur again. So Gotcha. Yeah, I was about to say for somebody, I've buried peoples. So yeah, get that insurance because I think like my mom's, I don't know if it was because it was out of town or if because I knew I had the money, we was just running it up because all that was like a like, like a blur. But her hers was 30 bands off top. And see, and that's the thing I tell people, insurance is, if you have, especially if you're younger and in good health, you can literally be paying 10 to $15 on a policy that's 100000 Yeah. 100000 It don't take nothing but 12, a basic barrel, 12000 All the additional money can be left to your kids or whatever. So, and I just tell people all the time, nobody going to take care of your kids like you do. At all. At all. So, if you, especially if you don't leave them no money. So, leave yeah. us some money. <laughs> <laughs> now, as far as entrepreneurship goes, how did you, well, how do you? Because this is my, like, I do a lot of things. I have a lot of certifications. I just, like, I've never stepped out just because it's like, I need my guarantee check. I know I'm getting every two weeks. And yeah, I need that. So, also being a mom, what gave you the push to be able to actually just branch out and do it? I'm going to tell you the crisis thing. Because a lot of people don't even know, before I did any of this, I actually had a shoe store first. I didn't know that. Yes, I had a shoe store first, a long time ago, even before I had Devin, on Lawrence Road. But I tell people that I always knew. Oh, yes, I do remember that. And then yeah. I remember you used to sell skincare yes. products too, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So I tell people all the time, like, I never had a problem for working for nobody because you learn from people and you need that money. But I always understand that your talents would never be appreciated with no company. <laughs> They're going to pay you to do a job. They don't pay you for your talents. So if you know what your talents are and you keep letting them waste, what are you doing? Like, well, you wasn't put here just to be wasting away. And even though I tell people, like, my kids now give me a different kind of motivation to work hard, I always knew I was more than just to be working for somebody's job for some right. kind of, Yeah, that was just what I mean. How do you balance it, though? Um, you don't. <laughs> that's what I was about to say because that's my one thing. When I get off, I get off. I tell my supervisor, "Quit." Not my job description. Um, it's hard to balance it because, especially when you know a mother, you have kids, and you're trying to balance that out in their activities. It's very hard to do. But I tell people I always at the end of the night, kind of just breathe and think about what the main goal was. Like, what was my point of all of this? Because you're gonna gotcha. lose it. We all lose it, and, and so it's okay. Just it's decompress okay. and reset, yeah, basically. Yeah, just reset because at the end of the day, it's got to get done. No. Sometime yeah. or the other, it's got to get done. So. Now, are you hiring tax repairs for this upcoming season? So, this year, I'm not, like, physically hiring. Um, I, people have been asking me because normally I do. But I want to keep the same team I have and keep building them up because yeah. what I really want to do, because a lot of them have a lot of clients. I'm trying yeah. to push them on their own. Um, because they're already self-sufficient, basically. Right. So that's less work for you versus bringing new people in. Right. And plus, on top of that, it gives them the opportunity to be their own boss. Yeah. Because they might have somebody who want to work for them. Not work for me. But they might want to work for you. So now I'm pushing them out to do their own office. Oh. I got two so far. One I can't convince. <laughs> Okay. And so for the people who think they can do everything, because I know I've used TurboTax a couple of years, what is the disadvantages of that? So I tell everybody, um, TurboTax is not a bad service. So I tell people all the time, definitely if that's something you need to use, use it. Use it. Any of those different type of self-sufficient websites, use it. It's not a bad site. Now, I will say this. If you're a person who have multiple different things going on, so there could be more than one job, maybe you have your own business, you will see once you're on TurboTax, they have different packages. And to order for you to claim everything, you have to choose the bigger package. Mm. So therefore, it doesn't become free anymore. But if, if you're somebody with just one W-2, basic, use it. Use it. Nobody's not telling you not to use it. Use it. And it will walk you through step by step. But if you got several W-2s, it will actually tell you at a certain point, because of the amount of W-2s you have, you have to pay for this package. Or you have a business, you have to. So it does take you got to different you. levels. So it's not a bad software to use. I encourage people, if that's what you want to do, use it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just make sure you're reading everything carefully and following the steps. But I will say this. 
TurboTax is just what it is. It's meant to be self-sufficient, and that's it. If you can't handle that, then that's where the problem come in. So people will get on that and not reading or they're not understanding, mm-hmm. so they put things in wrong. Now, at this point, you are doing yourself a dissatisfaction because you're not being self-sufficient. And then when it gets to the end, it's you that sign off and submit it. So if something yeah. is wrong, it's wrong, and it's you. That's it. It's on you. But if you use a tax preparer, no matter where you go, if something's not right, we're going to tell you, no, you can't do that. Or no, you can't do this. Because we know the IRS is going to come for you. And that's the biggest thing you don't want is the IRS to come for you. Yeah, I'm playing with no alphabet boys. No, please no. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what is the biggest deduction you think the average person misses? The biggest one when it comes to entrepreneurs is their deductions. People do not, they do not keep up with everything that they purchase for their business. They do not keep up with their expenses for their business. People just like, oh, I got a receipt. They put it in their purse. If you put a per, uh, receipt in your purse or in your book bag or whatever, in two or three days, is if you look at it, the ink is gone. Oh, yeah. I can't read it. <laughs> or some people don't even keep it at all and they're trying to go through bank statements or they're trying to go through their mobile app, their bank. That's not how you do it. People are missing deductions because they don't want to keep up with the things they do. Their bookkeeping is completely wrong. So then they want to guess. And you can guess. But guess what? When it's time for documentation, if your guess is wrong, again, it falls back on you. So I think that's the biggest deduction for entrepreneurs. For people who don't have a business, the biggest deduction is not just knowing what you're doing. You're not putting stuff in right in the system. But mostly entrepreneurs is bookkeeping. Bookkeeping? Yeah. Now, is there any write-offs that the average person just doesn't think about but could actually? For parents, I don't know why. I I preach this all the time. People let other people claim their kids. Your kids, even though, you know, they are your biggest deduction. And people will say, oh, no, I let my mom claim her child. Or I let this person. And I ask them, do your child live with you? Yeah. Do you take care of your child? Yeah. Why is somebody else claiming your child? Your child is your biggest deduction, and people continue to let other people claim their kids year after year after year, and I don't understand why. I don't understand. Yeah, I thought they were supposed to be cracking down on that soon. Like, And so they do, but it's a system. The way the IRS works is all returns electronically, and it's certain things that will make you, like, it's like flag a red you. flag you. So people can go years and years claiming somebody's child and never be flat because it's been the same child on that same return every year. They working at the same company every year. You're not a red flag because you're doing the same thing you've been doing year after year year. after year. Mm -hmm. Now, if your child has been bounced from one person to the next, now your child's social has become a red flag. Not that person, but the child. They're like, okay, John claimed his child this year. Now the child is with Jane. Now it's up here with Sarah. Mm -hmm. So your child is flat, not the actual tax preparer. So now they're trying to figure out why this child keep getting passed around. But normally, if you keep the same routine, the same person claiming your child, you don't become a red flag. So you don't, they don't, you get passed by. It just happens every year. You see a million statuses, such and such claims, such and such. Like, and I don't get it. Like, if you're my child, I'm claiming you because I took care of you. Yeah, I'm definitely, (laughs) Jayla, yeah, you coming on because I need to break even at least, honey. (laughs) So why is that? How do I, I don't understand taxes because it's like, this is how I feel about it. I really feel like taxes and insurance. You need life insurance, but I feel like car insurance is a scam. But why do I, the more money I make, the less I get when I'm already paying y'all. I'm, I'm paying y'all taxes <laughs> to go on the road, <laughs> to drive to work now, to get to work. <laughs> then I'm getting taxed on my check from work. Like, it's just like, I'm so confused. Where my money going? That's why it's important to vote. <laughs> Oh, I do. <laughs> and not just vote like for the president, your local Yes, elections. that's people, what matters. Because people don't realize your local politicians is what change your state rules and everything. And so when people don't vote, the person get voted for whoever, they change the tax laws here locally on your mm-hmm. state taxes. And then your president changed the tax the laws. Federal. So it's important to vote because tax is going to be here. But yeah. depending on who you vote for, it could be a difference in what we're being taxed on or how much the percentage. But And the tax breaks. So. Yeah, and the tax breaks. So I tell people all the time it's important to vote because the taxes ain't going well. It's just what, how much you pay. So. Now, would you recommend, as far as other entrepreneurs or women are scared to step out, is this a good 
option for a first business venture as far as doing financial services? It is. Um, and the reason why I say that is because tax, like I said, it's not going nowhere. Yeah. Tax is not going nowhere because that's the way the government runs. We need money to run the government for all these different programs. So taxes is not going nowhere. Now, with people refund miles to change, of course, that's going to go up and down based off a lot of different things. But the tax industry is going to be here because taxes will be around. Gotcha. Also, it's very, it doesn't take a lot to put into starting a tax business. Um, so, mm-hmm. so business, like, think about the McDonald's. Up front, you got to have a certain money of capital. You got to have that off top. Mm-hmm. With a tax business, you don't have to. You just need your software. You need your marketing. And depending on how you want to market, you can put as much as you want to it or not. And then you don't necessarily have to have a building because you can do it all virtual. over mobile apps virtually. So it's a business that don't take a lot to start and your return is going to always cover what you started out with. Gotcha. And recession proof. So yeah, yeah it's makes sense. recession proof. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Now, are you doing any classes this year? I know you're not hiring and bringing new people on, but are you at least <laughs> going to teach the people? So I'm not doing physical classes either. And it's only because I've done it in the past mm-hmm. and literally it'll be two to three people. Two to three people. But I will get so many people asking me to do it. So, like, you ask for it, I give it to you, and only two or three people come. So, this year, I'm focusing on the classes I'm doing. It's on the people who want to start their own business. Okay. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. But keep going, because people used to do the same way about interviews. They were like, don't come, don't come, don't come. <laughs> right. And now they be trying to spend the block. So, yeah. And that's going, true. Right? And that's true. So, I tell people, like, if I ever see that the interest is you know come back like you should then we'll talk about it but right now i just want to focus on the people who are actually going to do the business so i'm training them and that's it now photo booths because we didn't even touch on that yeah what are um how did you get started on that where did that come from <laughs> so if anybody know me i love to have fun that's yeah <laughs> i have my business but then when it's fun it's fun and i like to be fun um so it started when um smoky blues um it's the so girl lounge in my day they put one in there, and they was like, we don't know how to work this. And I was like, I'm out of the way. Ah, <laughs> and so no. I was showing them how to work it. And so then after that, people was like, well, we want to book the photo book. And they was like, Kyle, why? Kyle, why? And so that's how it started. And so they said it was party after party. And so then I said, you know what? I need another photo book. So I bought another one and then another one. So it just it's, went from it there. Really but it's, it's the fun of it to me because literally – Everything could be going on in the world, but people, when they have an event and they decide that it's having a good time and it's just like, this photo, I'm happy. As soon as I get yeah. off, I might not be happy. But right now, I'm They're going to look good. Yes. Right. We about to fake it till we make it or right. something. So, yes. And you already a vibe. Right. So, like. like it's be fun. It's, it's that. It's a it's an easy job. Like, it's just fun. Just, yeah. Just be you. Right. <laughs> now, how do they book you for the photo booths? So, I do have a website. It's posingamoment.com. But you can also call me or inbox me on Facebook. Um, I'm Joaquin Warren on Facebook. Um, but my number is, this is my business number, but y'all can call it. 864-991-1782. That's my number. You can call, text, however. But, yeah. And then, as far as taxes, how are they reaching out this year? Um, same thing. I have my, you know, Facebook. I have my website, dwdfinancial.com. Number still the same. It's just four nine nine one seventeen eighty two. Um, so way I, either way, it doesn't matter. It's not hard to find me. Ain't too many working on Facebook. <laughs> this is true. I haven't met another one yet, so this is true. Okay. And yeah. it's, I did meet another one, but she wasn't even one of us. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Now that is random. Where she had to be like foreign or something. No. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. You see me now. Gotcha. Yeah. All right now. <laughs> Anything else you want to lead the people with? Um, I would just tell everybody, like, if you ever want to do a business, reach out to another entrepreneur, ask them some steps. I don't mind. I'm one of the people, you ask me something, I tell you, I'm not one of the people, oh, cash at me first. No, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> but if you start in a business, no matter what it is, ask somebody who's already have their own business and ask them, like, what's the steps? Just don't jump out there because I tell people, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to add somebody to mentors, you know, be able to do that because it's a lot that go behind the scenes. It look easy. It yeah. ain't. It ain't. So getting advice from anybody, definitely do it. We out. We about to turn up. How to shit in the city. I'm fucking with it. Yeah, we about to burn up. Want to show a feature. We sell out the bitches. So please get your funds up. We about to one year. That's what you call a come up. It's the